Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. In this part, we're going to be exploring the Fieldhouse Cave. I've got the map of it off to my right, as always. But I did want to take note of the fact that this area has the... I guess I, guess I want to say the oddest amount of alchemy ingredients that I've taken notice of. So, it will always guaranteedly have, on the first floor, five nov novice alembics, three novice calcinators, three novice mortar and pestles, and thirteen novice retorts. Is that number important or something? It's just an odd amount. You'll also always have the same... six of the same alchemy ingredients... You know, regular food items, that is, which is two apples, two corns, and two lettuces. The exact same plants will always be found in certain spots. 15 carambolites, 6 wisp stalks, and a lot of the items are actually clustered together as well. It's not out there for a dungeon that is inhabited by... Inhabited by conjurers, actually. Middle, medium-sized dungeon. It has three zones. Inhabited by conjurers. And conjurer-based enemies. But it's not out there for conjurer-based dungeons to have that. But usually they're a little bit more randomized. But this is guaranteed. And it's really odd. The Specifically the alchemy things that are guaranteed. It's just, an, just a strange and uneven number. As if... One of the necromancers, necromancers, conjurers, they're not necromancers, one of the conjurers just kind of grabbed every one of them that he could without thinking. Alright, so on the outside of the cave, you'll always encounter some type of wilderness creature. And in my experience, it's usually Spriggans, but I'm glad it wasn't. Another thing that I want to take note of before we go into the cave is that this spot, this cave, the spot the cave is in, is a perfect spot for you to be able to get a whole bunch of Nurnroot around the area. There are a total of, I believe six, yes, six? Five or six Nurnroot around the cave. If you go and look up the cave on the unofficial Elder Scrolls Wikipedia, other unofficial, unofficial Elder Scrolls pages is what, what it's officially known as, actually. But uh, if you look that up, and you look at the map of it on the outside of the cave, you'll notice there's five Nurnroot around it. That's actually a pretty large amount of Nurnroot to have in one area, and it's a pretty good way of getting the Nurnroot around it. But anyways, let's go into the cave. Now... I did have a messed up recording where in which I went into the cave and I did not actually, uh, I, I forgot to unmute myself from the previous episode, which isn't, it's not the first time I've done it, but I looked at it and for some reason my brain was like, you know, this is the end of the world for you, right? And, and it wasn't. And it was a complete just overreaction I had emotionally for like five seconds or in which my brain had convinced me that the end of the world was nigh for me. And then I just restarted the recording and everything was fine, you know, as it should be. The human brain is really strange sometimes, guys. Sometimes, guys. Not sometime, guys. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of weird. Yeah, you. I want to heal a little bit. And this is actually one of the things I was talking about when I mentioned it before. We're starting to see all the strange ones that are just laying around. It just doesn't feel like it makes a bunch of sense to me. Come on, die. Okay. And as for the map of the area, I'm actually going towards the way to progress, and I don't really want to do that yet. Actually, there's three different ways to progress in the cave, but I want to go to a specific one. I want to go to the Dust of Sump's Fieldhouse. 
which is located oh lord there's two doors oh no oh well I'll figure it out I'll figure out which door is the best entrance for me Yep, there we go. Why are they arranged like that? Why is there one on the floor? Why do you guys have this many? Are do you guys have this many because you just don't clean up? Because it honestly is really messy in here. Alright, let's loot the gold and things and head back down this way. Hmm. I'm dumb. I almost went back towards the exit. Okay, so this is the way we want to go. Yep, this is this is more of it that I was talking about. There's actually, I believe, some alchemy skill books in here too. Maybe, I think. If not, there's just a large number of odd books that are guaranteed. Well, let me recast Detect Life, because I think there's an enemy over here. Not over here, but over there. And down this way. Before dropping down that hole, I want to make sure to explore everything. The dust of Sump's field house. Let me check exactly. Entering this area from here is the same as entering it from the lower levels. Never mind. I'm just going to progress onwards. I didn't realize that had killed him. Yes, thank you. Want to give me another show me what you've got? Alright. So, take these. This is a way to advance to the Black Balcony's field house. Which is an odd place. Yeah, that is the third zone of here. I don't know why I just kept punching the air. That was really dumb. Come on. Give me those void salts. Let me loot your partner. All right. And back this way. Hmm. This is just, yeah, back to regular field house cave. Let's go back up here and take a look and see if there's any loot that I can get. Because this just seems like they're trash heap. Yeah, it is. This is where they dump their trash. And apparently their bodies. There was a coffin there. Ah, yes. Let's put the coffin in with the trash. I mean, in this magical wound with necromancy and evil spirits and everything, let's just toss it in there. I don't feel like most of the NPCs in this, in this game specifically are very bright. So yeah, we actually want to take the path on the right. It's a lot more windy and turny. And it doesn't have as good a loot or as easy to ac access loot, but this gets it out of the way so I don't have to go back through here. Well, through this way. Unlock this hard lock chest. Open lock average. Oh wow, that's an insult. Okay. So, there's actually no other... First of all, take that person out and take that Daedroth out. That... Oh, that's a... That's a, that's a Frost Atronach, thank goodness. There were no other chests other than that one hard lock chest in that area. But here, we have another hard lock chest.
Really? I'm not wasting my time with you if you're gonna run away from me. I'd prefer to fight my enemies head on. There we go. Killed that person. Yeah, their 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 death is inevitable. I am a god of destruction after all, as everyone knows. Well not I, god of destruction of these guys. I wish necromancy magic was a thing in this. And without mods, I mean. Because I know there are mods that add it. I just would like to be able to raise the dead without mods. Yet again, another thing Skyrim really improved upon. Alright, let's go up to the uh, rafters before we drop down on these guys. And see if we can get any loot from up here. Though I don't think there is any. Yeah, it doesn't look like th there's any up here. Nope. All right. Why are you like this? There we go. And then one more. Oh, you're a frost. You're a storm astronaut, not a frost astronaut. I didn't think... I thought you were a part of uh, someone's summon, but I guess not. Get the void salts. My hand-to-hand -hand skill increased. Excellent. One step closer to maxing out hand-to-hand. -hand. Then I can move on to marksman and blunt. Is that a self-immolating tome? Is that what that said? Immolating touch. Okay. That's a lot better. I, I'm i not particularly fond of self-immolation. Uh, ooh, torch. Not, not, nope. Bleh. Uh, my ineptitude with pr pressing buttons increases every day. Walking over here, there's a trap. There's a trap. I guess not, actually. I thought there was. Not there. We want to go over here and... Beat whatever spawns in here. And take a look at the guaranteed books on the floor. And then loot this chest. I think there's another chest in here. Is there? I thought there was a boss chest or something in here. Oh, look! More Limbics! It's just seriously such a strange number. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, so the Black Balconies Field House is actually quite expansive. Let me cast Detect Life. No use in sneaking my way through. So, from the area we entered, we are actually very close to the boss. They're just right in there. But we have to travel through a lot of different space to be able to get to the boss. And there's not much loot down here in the pit. I gotta love murdering people from a distance. My favorite pastime. Eh, no it's not. But it is, technically, actually. Considering my favorite pastime is genuinely doing things for the channel and trying to find ways to improve it recently. That, uh... That has been my favorite pastime. I keep trying to 
find a better editing software that isn't just so expensive. Because uh, Adobe Flash costs a lot. And very simple editing tools aren't going to cut it forever. I mean, they will always cut, that's the point, but... You guys get the other point, right? Give me that ebony dagger. Okay. Detect life. Now, we could go that way, or we could go this way. This leads to a chest. Grant a dispel tomb, grand soul. Um, is that the only thing in here? I felt like there was something else in here. Don't do that. Uh, is there really nothing else here? This feels weird. It really does feel like I... Hmm... Yeah, there is supposed to be something. Is this the right spot? It is. It is. Now, this is a guaranteed item that's supposed to be here. And, yep, there it is. Okay. Hand-to-hand -hand skill book. <sighs> we will take this for now. And later, I will read it. Not in this video, but in a later video. Wow, it's dark. Light that torch. Shock the day drop. All right. Now, this isn't the way I th I say you should go. This is the way I am currently going to get rid of the enemies on the way. I would instead say that you should fall don't want the expert mortar and pestle I would say that instead you should follow the enemies that uh, were on the upward slope we're actually reaching the end of the path that we can take here yeah don't summon that guy please all right there we go Huh, so now we go back. And then we just travel up that slope. And did I go too far? Yeah, I did. It always feels like that. Like you, you'll know when you go too far in an area. Because you'll notice and it will just feel weird and wrong. Okay. There we go. Looted those guys proper. Up here, in this corner, is a chest. The seed. Interesting. That chest is entirely random, and it just happened to have a boss level amount of gold in it. So, uh, yeah. I guess that's a thing it can drop. Now let's go kill the boss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I knew that would happen. I wasn't gonna fight you. Okay. And now, the boss level chest. Wow, that was actually pretty disappointing. That that yeah, that was that was just mad loot. That that was eh. And down here. <laughs> Ah, no, the second corridor, second corridor over here. Back to the field house cave. Now, turning right into here. I thought there was a treasure chest here. Is there not? Am I remembering wrong? I am. That's fine. 
But that just means we've done everything we can in this cave. Uh, Fieldhouse Cave is just particular in one regard, and that's the absurd amount of Alembics and other alchemy ingredients, but Alembics stand out to me because... I mean, I, I don't know why. 13 Alembics on the first floor and then a whole bunch of random ones later. It feels strange. You guys don't need that many Alembics. Anyways... Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. Thank you all, and have a wonderful day. Bye!